Hey YouTube, I'm just out here today checking the uh, speed of these bows. My new one, Maverick, the SAS Maverick, 55 pound, draw at 28 inches, and it's a 60 inch recurved bow. The other one's going to be the Colts Patton firearms plainsman it's a 45 pound at 28 inch draw and 60 inches long I'm going to be shooting Easton's 400 out of these bows 125 grain tip I'm using a Coldwell Ballistics Position Chronograph. I'm going to shoot three arrows through each bow. One eighty. One eighty seven, I should not be getting that big of a difference. One eighty seven. Shoot one more through it. One eighty seven. Three shots at one eighty seven. So the average is uh, one eighty seven. That's feet per second. Good OT. Okay. Let's shoot the Plainsman. I'm looking at probably 170s. I don't think this in here will go above 180. since it's 10 pounds lighter than the other bow. One seventy one. One seventy four. Didn't even read. Well, it did, but read at 50. <laughs> no, that's wrong. One seventy one. So roughly about one hundred and seventy two feet per second is the average on that bow. Ten pounds, ten feet. what it looks like to me. Still ain't too bad for a 45 pound draw. And a 56 year old bow. I did more research on it with the serial number and everything. 
It was uh, made in 1963 by the Wing Company. The same people who put out the Red Wing Hunter. Another one of my favorite bows. So, that's all I got for you today. Keep the arrows flying, be safe, and have fun.